Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can represent distances on a number line, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a very simple number line here from 0 to 10. And what I want to show for you is how we can use number lines to represent numbers. So let's say I wanted to find different ways that I can represent the number 8. Well, I wrote the digit 8. If I wanted to, I could write it out in words. I could even draw eight little dots. I could put two rows or two columns of four if I wanted to. So those are three different ways to represent the number eight. We can also represent eight with uh, some addition sentences, five plus three. Or we can also do some subtraction, nine minus one. There's a lot of different ways to represent the quantity eight. What I want to show you is that we can also use a number line to represent 8. Now, we cannot just put an x over here on top of the 8 unless we also show where we're starting from. Because this is 8 as long as we start from 0. So I'm going to start from 0. I'm just going to make some hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now, this right here represents the number 8 because I made eight hops, and my distance from zero to eight is eight. And the reason why it's so important to show where you're starting from is because for some reason, I were to start, if I were to go to eight, I'm going to show that underneath the number line, but let's say I started at two. Well, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. You see, it only represents eight if we start from the number zero rather than from any other number like the number two. Let's see how we can represent eight using a ruler. Now we see a picture of a toy baseball bat and a ruler. And let's just make sure we understand which side of the ruler we're using right here. We've got this baseball bat lined up on our inches side. The centimeters is down below and as you can see the centimeter units are much smaller. Our ruler is 12 inches or a foot, but there are over 30 centimeters, about 30 and a half centimeters that make up that same distance. So our inches are much larger, which means there's a lot fewer of them on our ruler. So if we think of this as a number line, well, guess what? We can use this baseball bat to represent like a number line. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's a little bit past eight. So we'll say it's about eight. So we can say that this toy baseball bat is eight inches long. And that is going to be just like using a number line. We have to start our ruler at zero. Make sure that it's lined up with your zero, which is over here off the end. And then you just see how far it goes. And this represents the number eight. Let's see what happens when we shift the baseball bat down and we don't start at the number zero. So we have the same baseball bat but now as you can see we've shifted it down to where it's just a little bit past the 11. But we can't say that this baseball bat is 11 inches because we know we just measured it and it was 8 inches. All I did was slide it down a little bit. So if we're looking at this ruler as a number line we can still find the measurement of this baseball bat. We just have to take one extra step. So we know it ends at about 11. We also need to see where it starts. And it starts right there at 3. So what we can do is we can still count forward, just like a number line. And let's just make some of these hops here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is still 8 inches. We knew that was going to be the case because we didn't change the way it looked. But how can this represent the number 8? Well, think of this like a subtraction problem. So what did we end with? We ended with 11. So I'm going to put 11 up here. But we didn't start with 0. If we started with 0, then it would be an 11-inch bat. We started with 3. So if we can take away 3, 11 minus 3, well, that equals 8. Just like these other expressions up here equal 8. So that's another way that we can re represent the number 8 with number lines and with rulers.